Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to some product page best practices. Today we're going to take a look at some tips that you can use to bring your product page to the next level and help engage with your customers to a greater degree. The features that we're going to look at are built into any updated Out of the Sandbox theme, but I'm going to be using the new Turbo theme as our example. If you are looking for any guidance on how to set up products on the Shopify platform, you can check out their documentation as they've got a ton of information about how to do that. If you are looking to set up your Out of the Sandbox product page from scratch, we already have some videos about setting up your product page and your collection page, but this video is going to take a look at some special features that are built into your product page. Let's start with the swatch feature. So here I am on my Shopify admin panel. I'm going to go to Online Store, Themes, Customize Theme, and into the product page settings, where I'd like to make sure that the option style is selected as color swatch, as opposed to a regular dropdown. With that confirmed, we're going to head back to our admin panel, to the products tab, where I'm pulling up this sample product that we've created that has two variant colors, a green and monster. So the green swatch shows up because green is a common color, but monster is not a common name for a color. So what we'd like to do is replace these with some custom swatches. The first step is to take a screenshot of the swatch. So here I am taking a square screenshot of a portion of the product image that has a good example of the colors or textures involved with the product. I'm going to repeat that with the monster variant as well. While we're on the product page, be sure to take note of the names of the color variants, because once we take these screenshots, which save to my desktop here, we're going to rename them to match those color variants, but avoiding all capitalization and replacing all spaces with hyphens. Then back on Shopify to the admin panel, online store, then use the ellipsis button here to go to edit HTML CSS. Scroll down to the Assets section and add a new asset. And this is where you're going to add the two screenshots that you just took, making sure that the names are matching the names of the variants. So here I am adding the green and the monster PNGs to the assets. And that's all it takes. And then you can refresh the product page here and see that the default swatch has been replaced here and there's now a monster swatch appearing. Next, let me show you how easy it is to set up the reviews feature. So we're in Customize Theme, down to the Product Page tab, and scroll down to the bottom where you can enable the reviews. But first, be sure to head over to the App Store, using the link in the settings there, and get the Product Reviews app. So here it is being installed on my Apps panel. Easy as that. Then back into the settings where we can enable the reviews. I'm just going to pull up a product so that you can see how it renders. And now this is with the position next to the image gallery, just below the description. But you can also have it appear below that section and span the width of the column framework. We have a couple of extra options here. We can show the star rating up below the product title. And we can also have it display with the product thumbnails that appear on collection pages or similar sections throughout your site. So those first two tips will provide your shoppers with a bit more information. The swatches will tell them of the colors and the textures available, and the reviews will give them info about what other customers thought of the product. I'm going to post links to these two blog posts in the description, so you can check out some more information about swatches and about reviews. These next two tips are going to be about the way that you organize the information that appears on your product page. So starting with the tab feature, I'd like to point out this support article that has an explanation of how to add the tabs. But more importantly, it has a link to the tab editor, which is something that the Edit the Sandbox team has put together to make it very easy for you to put together these tabs and have them display on your product page. So here I have my demo product on the left with the tab editor open on the right. And it's as simple as selecting the text in the tab editor and replacing it with the text that you would prefer. So here I've replace the titles of the tabs with benefits, features, and more. And now I'm cutting out pieces of this description and sort of filing it away into the appropriate tab to make finding this information much easier while keeping the footprint of the description on your product page fairly limited. So once I'm satisfied with the titles of the tabs and the contents of the tabs here, even with some styling options as you see, then I can go and click the Get Code button 
and there's the code there. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard with that button, then head back over to my Shopify admin panel and into the description. Use the Show HTML button in the top right-hand corner of the description and replace all of the HTML that's there with the version that you just copied from the tab editor. And that's how it renders. Next, we're going to jump into something just a little bit more advanced and take a look at how we can employ some exciting layouts on our product page. So I'm going to point you to this blog post here where we've got a ton of examples of exciting layouts. And we're going to try to replicate this one here where we've got three columns of content, images, headings, and text. And of course, always refer to this columns support article here where we've got an actual markup for the three column layout. So first things first, I'm going to import these icon images into my product description. Now, based on the fact that we just finished doing the tabs, I have a feeling that these are going to be dropped within some tabs uh, by accident. So flip over to the HTML editor and make sure to grab all of that image code that was just added and cut it out of wherever it was placed by default. Bring it down to the bottom of the HTML editor. Add the split tag, which will allow you to separate the description from the conventional description area, and then paste in those images. Just to show you the effect that that had on the product page, we're going to reload it here and see that adding that split tag renders anything else below the regular description area. Now I'm headed back to that support article. I'm going to copy the markup that's used for three columns and paste it into my HTML editor just below that split tag. Then I'm going to cut the code associated with each of the images and replace that column text to allow these images to appear within that column framework. So here I am just doing a simple cut and paste to overwrite the content that appears there by default. And then to see how that renders, do a quick refresh and see that we've now created this three column setup. Now let's add some more content to these columns, starting with a heading. So here's a sample heading. If you'd like it to be centered, be sure to add the center class within your column classes. So just by adding the word center within the class there, you will center all of the contents that appear within that column. And then to see how that renders, there we go. We've got our headings added and we can jump in and even add some paragraph text so that we've got some copy that appears below each one of those icons. And this is how it appears. And if you haven't used the column framework before, the best part is that it reacts responsively. So whether you're viewing the site on a desktop or a laptop or on a mobile phone, the elements here will resize and then eventually stack so that all of the content is visible regardless of the device. So using these quick tips, you can enhance your product page to engage with your shoppers a little bit more, to help organize your information a little bit better. And as always, if you hit any snags or had any questions, head over to support.outofthesandbox.com and check out our support center, which is filled with resources to help you on your way. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video. All the best.